Welcome to the Daily Minute. It can be so easy for a person who has given up some nasty addiction to be extra critical of those who haven't yet overcome it. Our own sense of pride can move us to treat others as if we never stoop so low as to do what they have done. Truth of the matter, however, however, is that we've been equally sinful. And Colossians 3, 7 identifies that we were a part of that disgrace. In which you yourselves once walked, when, when you lived in them. The statement in this verse declares that not only did we have at least one instance of falling sin, uh, we were in the practice of committing some of these sins. Before we became children of God, we lived with an immoral nature that possessed these sinful cravings. Since becoming believers, we now have a new nature due to the indwelling Holy Spirit, and those sins no longer have power over us. Let's pray. Father, well, thank you for this great day that you've given to us and all you've done for us today. We ask that you would now take us and, and remove those sinful habits from us. So, Father, we could live a, a righteous life before you. Present in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for spending time with me in God's Word today. If you have a question, a prayer request, or would like to receive these devotions and readings directly, send your request to shine the light for him at mail.com. Now, tomorrow in the Daily Minute, We'll look at the fact that at one time, these sins were a serious part of our daily life. Thank you, and may God bless you. See you tomorrow.